Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Vlogs, and today we are finally doing another GoPro driving vlog. It has been a while since I've done one of these. I think the last one was about a month and a half ago or so. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff to talk about this time around. Um, starting off with a milestone, because why not? Uh, we had 300,000 views total on Test Drive Vlogs, which is awesome. And for some reason I've been doing these, uh, like saying thank you for, please don't pull out for me, thank you. Uh, we've been doing these uh, things where I'm like, every 75,000 views for some reason, I'm like, oh hey, we hit another 75,000 nah, 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 views. So yeah, we, we did that. The last one was at 225,000, so yeah, it does make sense. I guess I, this intersection is extremely weird. I'm the only one that has a stop sign, but I have lines, okay? And yeah, a blinker. Um, second thing, uh, since I did failed to explain how exactly the, uh, the little fender bender, why are you pulling out in front of me? The little fender bender I had uh, happened, basically there's a parking lot in kind of Arnold, Missouri. It's kind of. Uh, that's not a GC350. Um, but there's this parking lot and it's there's a Schnucks uh, grocery store right there. I'm going for it because I have enough time to go for it. There's a grocery store uh, and like a Clarkson Eye Care, which is the eye care place, right there. And the way it works is that there's, uh, there's a road that goes in that is at a light like this. Like you go straight through and then you go into, it's kind of enters the parking lot area and there is a road to the left you can take that uh, goes towards like more parking lot area, like the bigger part of the parking lot. If you go to the right, there's like a, a bar and stuff. And uh, basically, something's loud, oh, it's a motorcycle. Uh, basically, I was trying to make, I was going, I was making, bleh. I went into the parking lot from the light. I made the left at this first little road that was behind the, the eye care place. I could just ran a red light. Um, and I was going there, and then the park, or this, this road stops at the edge of the eye care place, and you can turn left or right, and straight ahead is parking spots. And apparently they had just repaved like a car width and a half of parking, like over parking spots, and it didn't have lines like straight ahead. And this girl in a Mazda 626, like a 2000 or so Mazda 626, uh, did thought that it was a road, and uh, continued going whenever I was expecting her to stop. And yeah, bang. So that's how it happened. Uh, other than that, like uh, I made sort of picture. I took a picture of her car. It actually it completely buckled in the front fender on the driver's side because she was coming straight on and I was turning to the left and whatever. And uh, it completely just smashed in like about this much of her fender from my front bumper. And uh, I'm first. it popped her front tire because the, uh, the inner fender well kind of broke and it's, pla I guess it's pretty thick plastic. And it stabbed her tire and it popped her tire. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's the extent of the damage. I mean, like I my fender got bent. I showed that in the video that I made. If you didn't see it, uh, I made a video about it. And that's basically what happened. Um, nothing really serious, and uh, nothing that's going to be too expensive to fix. Which I should be getting a, an insurance and reimbursement or whatever, because it was not my fault. Because I had stopped, had my turn signal on and was going and I had the right away so I don't know. So anyways that's what happened there. Um, pretty just dumb little accident and I had to wait two hours for because my front bumper had buckled in like I said in that video as I was saying. Uh, my front bumper had kind of big gotten bent in and I couldn't turn my wheels to the right hardly at all. So I had to wait for like two hours for my uncle to come with his uh, Dodge Ram and a, uh, a rope, or a chain actually, to bend my bumper back out. That's Passat, bro. Cool wheels. Um, so I had to wait for that. Uh, once that was over, I haven't done anything else besides I put the stock 
uh, turn signal marker light housing lens thing back on because I still had that one because it wasn't broken from the previous owner. Why are we stopping? Is there somebody turning? Yes, there is. So, yeah. Other than that, it's just stuff that I can't exactly fix without replacing parts. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be fun. A little hot in here. Up the window a little bit. Hello, Mr. Ford Truck Man, with something in your bed that has liquid in it. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the story behind that. Wonderful. And other than that, there's that new style of videos I want to try out because I have so much footage from work that I can use. And, uh, I don't want to just go ahead and do that. <laughs> and that's, uh, I think there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. I can't remember what it was, though. So. Oh, well, I'll probably remember it later or something and put it in the next one if I do remember it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this GoPro driving vlog. Uh, leave in the comments if you have any questions or anything that you want me to answer in one of these because I'll use them as a Q&A kind of thing also. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I am out of here. See ya!